So I'm going to be really hard on women because uh, how that, why that the subject matter even raises up? Who cares? Aren't you happy with your um, tightrope walking uh, course uh, or whatever school that you're doing or whatever you're doing in life? And aren't you happy with your orchard watering program or whatever you guys are doing? But what? why does narcissism become such a, oh, why? What? What's going on? Well, we know that there's an energetic game being played and then it's hard to talk about it, right? So who has a hard time talking about it? I say women do. I say women have a deep responsibility, um, and men, but I'm looking at women who, okay, now, why is it just, a, why is it, when does it become a really big deal for me? I'll let you in on it, babes, personally, and this has been something, and this is how I can do this, is because I'm nearing 50 years old, I've been studying it enough alone, freelance, um, basically having interactions since the age five. I've been introducing men into my body, say sexually, since that time. Now, I didn't just say I've had sex with 5,000 men and I just, <laughs> I, I, no. You know, if you pay attention to one time, you don't have to have to do it 5,000 times. You just fucking pay it close intent, uh, intention. But you know what? Kids sexually explore and I was one of them. I'm pretty sure I didn't abuse any of the boys that we got involved with. I think that they were having a good time. I'm pretty sure they were, babe, and there weren't any adults there. I mean, maybe they were off having a good time, too. I don't know. Totally minding our own business. And then what happens is that you kind of forget about it a little while, sometimes maybe. I didn't. I'm, I'm Mars ruled. I'm Mars ruled, so um, sex is a, like like a big thing. It's it's something that we're doing besides for eating and breathing, right? Yes, it's something we do for health, by the way. Breathe deep. Really get your appetite going. <laughs> so, so I haven't really been messing with that. You know, I've just been having fun. But guess who's messing with that? And, and really, it's not a place of having fun. Fucking narcissists are. But um, I find that you don't have to get so intertwined with them. Just have a conversation with them. Just find out. Just have a conversation. Listen for the, for it. You can, you can tell that somebody is like so immature about it. They're just um, not honoring the experience in themselves. You know, whether they say an innuendo or a joke. But why is it even a concern? It's not a concern for me. Okay, so what happened to me recently? is experiencing. Now, I don't know what it is, babes, but, okay, getting back to you women, please, it's your responsibility to change your human dildo up. You can upgrade it into, you can actually bring it up into its own intelligence, which is like, I'm here, and what am I supposed to do? Well, we are here to satisfy each other. Not really that, it's just that we ha we are here bothering to have this meeting, which is the sex place, to to enjoy each other, to give each other pleasure, maybe. I, I'm just kind of jumping to a conclusion there, but I, I think I was doing it right for the last, mm, uh, so since the age five, give me 45 years on you guys, 40, 43. Just noticing how, woo! you know we getting into this space that it is feeling great and you know what i think that women are not talking enough about it of course you enjoy it the narcissist doesn't want you to experience joy and if it's a man or a woman that's just who they are and it could be something else you can experience it's like you 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 are doing something on the couch playing the piano for people if there's if, if it's a, a tight enough scene, the narcissist is going to suck the room out of the air and, and and close you down. If there's enough healthy people there that say no, we love dancing and we love expression, the narcissist isn't going to really approach it. You have to see okay, wh where are you at? Are you in your own household? Can you be uninhibited and say, "Yay, I love this moment," or or can you just say, "Well, you know, I'll save this for later in my own sanctuary." You have to be smart because we're dealing with a universe that is made. What, what is the saying? It says, the universe is our relation with each other. 
The universe consists of contracting and expanding beings. Vibrationally, we are aligning. You know, we either align or misalign. We are seeing each other or we are not. By the way, you're not looking at me right now. No, no, this is... See, narcissists are really confused on this planet, and it's interesting. It's like, when are when are when are we going to bring back that, babes? Pictures and how you think about things isn't reality. It's not a reflection of reality. Reality, not at all. You have the first and second, and then the third dimension is still a mystery. Yet we're going to the fifth dimension already, and the fourth dimension has emerged. And it's like, but what about the third dimension? Can anybody describe that? Reality check. Anyway, getting back to oh my god, where where that it, 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 it that I just experienced is it's like okay, so really, so um, I have brought men up, women. It's your job to bring your dildo up into like at least communication mode. Hey, you want something with me, huh? Fight the person off, fight them off, but play with it, play with it, because you want something too. Don't you want a good experience? Or no, I'm sorry, sex is not everybody's interest. Some women are either turned off to sex because they're dealing with this insensitive guy, which she doesn't she doesn't know. Maybe you should have brought it up first. <laughs> Cause I say that's where civilization has yet to be brought in up is women need to to slow that fucker down. I have some videos on it, and here it is minute seven. It could be a, a decent video. It's a heated subject, right? And and so it just kind of vacates the, the communications. I mean, like, literally, you can't move your lips and say, well, can we slow down and talk about what just happened there? <laughs> okay, so what happens? What's the common thing that happens, babes? Men are too quick, right? There's a complaint there. <laughs> and, and it's funny because you can see men saying, well, women have a real problem. I mean, pfft, can't we just... Get buried. Let's go. And <laughs> no, that's not how you actually get things in life. That's not how you get real satisfying experiences. I mean, you have yet to learn. And there's where the woman comes in. Why aren't you talking? Say, good for you, but are you going to include me? I'm an opposite sex here. Do you want to know about it at all? Really? Narcissists? Bottom line, babes. They don't want to know about who is there. They don't care about who is there. They're using sex for a different reason. Let me tell you what they're using it for. It's really sad because they'll use any other thing. Any other thing. That's where it's like they just, well, let's grab sex and <laughs> fuck with it. And it's like, oh shit, I think I just broke my lamp. <laughs> but no, see what I'm saying? It's just, it doesn't matter what it is. They're just trying to peel through things. And why can't I get attention? Supply of attention. They want to feel like they're in control, you know, and it's like, fucking, can you get up past the age of four? Because you can have a lot for yourselves. If you look into the truth, away from your mind and from all the minds around you who, who keep, you know, that's the fucking illusion of the trap. Uh, that's the trap of the illusion that is the mind. You have a bunch of other minds around you who could not become inhibited of that fucking trap hellhole. And they're saying immediately, at a vital point, you could be like three and four, and they tell you, no, 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 no. And really, they don't know that this is the first experience you've ever had. You don't say no or yes to it. You just go, it's happening. Right? Uh, you people have yet to fucking grow up, and that's why I fucking wind up yelling. It's why empaths end up to be a fucking hooked on opiums and shit. Dealing with these people who have yet to get into their own sensitivities because, well, they've been beaten by somebody who's fucking insensitive and now it's a hand-me-down of these fucking calluses and I swear to God, women, woman, please get on the scene and tell these people, ah, oh, you know what? It, you, we know that you're there and you have your sex. What about us? If you are with somebody who doesn't care for that, get away from them. They're not even they're not even human. It's not even the right thing to do. To sit down at the table and at all this food and say, I don't want any of it. <laughs> Fucking killjoys, really. And and they will use anything. 
they're using, see, this is what I wanted to say is, you know, it's just toddler activity. It's really low life activity who, who will use sex just to gain control somehow. They know that you like it. They'll use something else. It's just putting your toy there and then taking it away. And then putting your toy there and then taking your toys away. And it's like, you know what? Ugh. I get a certain pain anymore um, bothering about it. Really, I I have a really amazing life that has, you know, I've got, I've been able to see it in life. And I have gotten PTSD just observing other people destroy their own children because they're a bunch of fucking narcissists having kids. Narcissists can destroy the empath. If the empath thinks that they can actually love those people, they will be destroyed and they will be turned worse than a fucking imp than, than a narcissist. They will be turned into a fucking psycho, sadomasochistic narcissist, man, something worse than a narcissist. If they don't just kill themselves, I'm not kidding. I am nearly 50 years old highly observant. I observed relationship just pop like a bubble, go up like a bubble and then pop because these are fucking narcissists and they're having kids that are ending up being self-harming, suicidal fucking people. Excuse me. Giving me fucking PTSD. Now we have a, a bunch of, I live in a town full of these amazing healer, um, uh, narcissists. They're just narcissists, man. They, they claim to be all the things that I am. They fucking hate me because I actually just play music. I really do. I don't have a picture of me playing music and holding a guitar because I'm not a fake. I will tell you what I've been using music for is for meditation. It's a higher learning tool, just like sex is. You don't know what the fuck you're doing with that. Have you ever made yourself feel good? How, how about this? Do you actually make people feel good? when you're playing it, not just playing it for them, but like playing it with people. Can you play with people? Narcissist, can you play your music with people? Can you play their music? <laughs> Do you even know what music is? 